Sunday, the 5th of July, 1942. My exam results were good. My parents are pleased, of course. And Margot had a brilliant report, as usual. Father has been at home a lot lately, because he can't work at the business any more. It must be awful for him to feel that he's not needed there. Mr. Clayman and Mr. Kugler are now the managers in the offices. When we went out for a walk together a few days ago, Father said, We may have to go into hiding soon. Why? I asked him. Why are you talking about it already? Well, Anne, he said, you know that we've been making stores of food, clothes and furniture for more than a year now. The Germans could take everything away, and us too. He was very serious. But when will we go? Don't worry. We'll arrange everything. Just enjoy yourself while you can. Wednesday, the 8th of July, 1942. It seems like years since Sunday morning. So much has happened. The whole world has turned upside down. But I'm alive, and that's the most important thing. On Sunday afternoon, we heard that the Germans were going to take Father away. We know what that means. To a concentration camp. Mother's gone to ask Mr. Van Dan about our hiding place, said Margot. Mr. Van Dan worked in the business with Daddy and is a good friend of his. Then Margot told me later that there was a mistake. The Germans had called her up, not Father. How can they take a girl of sixteen away from her family like that? But she's not going. A hiding place. Where shall we hide? In the city? In the country? When? Where? How? These questions were in my mind, though I couldn't ask them. Margot and I started to pack. I packed the craziest things. This diary first. Then handkerchiefs, school books, a comb, and some old letters. Memories are more important to me than dresses. Meep and her husband Jan came to help and share the work. They carried some bags of clothes away for us. Meep and Jan work for Father's company, and they are our close friends. I slept for the last night in my own bed, and Mummy woke me up at 5.30. We dressed in lots of clothes. No Jew would dare to leave the house with a suitcase. At 7.30 we left the house. I said goodbye to Mortja, my cat. The neighbours were going to look after her. We hurried to leave the house. We wanted to reach our hiding place safely. It was the only thing that mattered. More tomorrow.